name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and things are created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. Father, you taught the hearts of your faithful people by sending them the light of your Holy Spirit, and that Spirit give us right judgment and the joy of his comfort and guidance. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, I haven't done a Kids' Corner video in a while. I just received a question from a boy who I think is around 10 years old, who I actually knew back in D.C. And he asked me, what is heaven going to be like? Is it going to be boring doing the same thing every day? If someone lost their arm on earth or a leg, will they get it back in heaven? So, I have never been to heaven. Uh, I don't have that first-hand experience. The church hasn't talked a lot about what it's like. We know it exists. And it is a mystery, right? So it's a place where, you know, we're not quite sure about exactly what goes on there, what will go on there. But we do know that Christ is there, and Mary's there, and God the Father is there, and the saints are there. And for me, that's the most important thing. You know, I live with six priests here in Rye, New York, and it doesn't really matter what we're doing. If we're cutting wood, if we're enjoying pizza together, traveling together in the car, for me, that's kind of heaven, because I'm with people that are holy, people who have goodness in their heart, people that love me and respect me. I feel appreciated. And the, the goodness and warmth and selflessness that I see inspires me. I remember as a kid, you know, if you want to use a family image, you know, just being in the backyard with my dad when he would hit baseballs to me, sometimes for an hour or so. I played Little League, I was second base, he would hit ground balls. He would hit pop-ups. He would throw pitches so I could improve my batting. And it wasn't so much that I loved baseball, I did, I loved baseball. But that I was with my dad, and he smiled, and he laughed, and he encouraged me, he loved me. It was about being with my dad, that's what made heaven, that moment heaven. We are playing ping pong with my brother Jim. I played against him every single night from the time I was like in second grade, pretty much through eighth grade, until he went to college. And, you know, you would think you'd get tired of playing ping pong, right? But I didn't. It was the same game. It was the same situation down there in the basement. Unfortunately, a lot of losses on my end. I finally beat him after like four years. But it wasn't about the ping pong. It was about playing with a brother who loved me. My brother Tom, my sister Deb, I feel the same way. So that's really the key, is that we're going to be with Christ. We're going to be with the saints we're going to feel loved. We're going to feel appreciated. It's not so much what you do, it's who you're with, right? I think that's the key. And in terms of arms and legs and health, and you know, St. Thomas Aquinas speculated that we will have our absolute best body, our best physical stature. So that would include having your arm back, sure. Being able to see better, you know. Um, having your vigor forever. That perfect presence that you have, but you're not going to worry about it. You're not going to be comparing yourself if you're better looking, if you're more intelligent. And, you know, you're going to be who you are, and God's going to help you see how wonderful that is. And you're going to be at peace with that. You're going to be satisfied. You're not going to be jealous or wish, wish something were different. And even there, the greatest thing is going to be being with Christ, looking to the warm eyes of Jesus Christ. And no, it's not sitting around a coffee table looking at Christ for two million years. It's being loved by Christ for two million, two trillion, forever. You know, I mentioned my brother, my other brother. My, I, I, I don't get sick of them. I don't get sick of my mom. And what we do is just a reason to be together, right? So I hope that helps. I can tell you as a priest, I know Jesus Christ. He's my absolute best friend. He's my brother. He's what brings heaven down to earth right now. I think you can taste it right now in the Eucharist. You can taste it during Mass. You can taste it in prayer. You can taste it on a beautiful day when you hear the birds chirping and you see, wow, God made this. It's a relationship. It's a friendship. And that's eternal and it's waiting for us. And it's exciting. And it's not boring. And it's going to be so beautiful. God bless you.